This girl she the jam, like she forget all about you man. She the party, she live up. I sing every single moment of the day. <laughs> it's annoying, Kaya. My friends like, do you ever stop singing or dancing? Do you ever say no? It's a part of me. What is this? Me not up, no talking. Get off of me nerves, boy. Go talk to your girl, cause this is not my call. Garrett Jacobs is a 25-year-old teacher at a private school in Toledo, but he moonlights as an artist. He grew up in church with parents who sing and play instruments, so music came naturally to Gareth. But it wasn't until right before high school that he realized his voice was well received by the public. You say I'm crazy Cause you don't think I know what you've done During my like elementary school years, primary school, I wasn't singing much. I didn't know I had a voice until I was in standard six and was about to graduate and they asked me to sing. Uh, at the graduation, I was like, me? Then I, you know, tried the song and everybody fell in love with it and my voice and stuff. I was like, okay, cool. And then from there, it started off. Me and him used to get stick on pretend we sing all the time as kids growing up. And um, people would uh, often ask us to do weddings. And um, he would ask me to do the girl version to sing um, from this moment song. We sing a lot of weddings. I said, Garrett, he want, he's a performer. He loves to perform. I'm on the other hand, I don't like to perform. So he like, please be sing the girl version so we can we can go sing at this wedding. I said, okay, Garrett, okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. But that's the memories I remember of us singing at weddings and us pretending to be singing. And you know, I've always seen that talent in him of um, wanting to perform and perfect his vocals and his dancing and stuff like that. It's a talent that God gave me, so I use it. I love being up there and blessing others with my voice. They say your voice is a blessing, we love it. That's what like, pushes me and inspires me to do it. Gard is from Jacinta Villa, a small village of less than 400 residents located on the outskirts of Punta Gorda town in the Toledo district. Having a voice like Garrett's, meant that he became an instant hit with the villagers and the wider Toledo community. And to this day, the community supports Garrett as he competes for the title of KTV The Remix. Garrett is a very humble person. He's always there for anyone that needs their assistance and I want them to look up to him, the young people. If they ever need help, Garrett has always given music lessons to younger kids. Do you got it bad when you're out with someone but you keep singing for quite a while. Why, Why now? now? Well, I've been watching the show a couple years now. Anytime they have one, and I was like, I hear the people sing, I was like, hmm, I could do that. I think I could do even more than that. You know, I was like, so let me try this year. It's a night, girl. It's only you and me. Everything I know. And everywhere. The support is awesome. The support is awesome here in my village, Jacintoville. It's awesome. Anywhere I go, they're like, hey, Garrett, you did a good job. Keep it up. Keep it up. We're voting, yes. So it's awesome. Sometimes they, they're through the storm. They're turning on the TV and it's like, oh, Garrett, you almost made us lose our TV because we're watching you because it's like storming right now. But we're watching you. The sun goes down, the stars come out, and all that comes is here and now. He more than deserves the title, you know, coming from such a small town, he said, what a boy do, what that boy from South doing up there, you know? And he doesn't have big support, so all his friends and his families try to chip in, chip in, chip in every week, and every little bit counts to where he is today. And darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. For this artist, the competition is a way for him to gain exposure and promote his music because he plans to go into the studio once KTV The Remix is over. Definitely working on some music. I do have a couple songs already. I just need to record them now. And I've met the awesome producer, I don't remember his name, but I worked there in the studio for the song Moving On that I just did. So I definitely plan to do something with those, definitely. 
Definitely, yes. Now, the big prize is $10,000. Do wow. you have any plans for that money? A lot. And apparently, a lot of people do have plans for that money, too. <laughs> yeah, they always know. This is what we're going to do with the money if you win. But yeah, definitely put that into music, into charity, into my, like, giving my parents, helping them out and all that stuff, yes. Yeah, I'm letting go tonight. Yeah, I'm letting go tonight. Yeah, I'm letting go tonight. And I'm moving on. This whole journey has taught me to be so humble. Humble, like, what, for each what person, what they have done for me, the little that they have, they would take and support me. And I don't take that lightly, because I know how hard life is right now. Fresh new start in my heart, yeah. Memories are there, but I ain't going there. Wish you the best in this cruel world. I'm moving on, gonna find me another girl. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.